What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and today we're going to begin the Spec Up 31 task list. There are a lot of fights early on and so I'm going to try to keep it as brief as I can. We'll jump right into the action but first I want to thank Matthew for the graphic. Also a shout out to Dave Payne. Thanks for watching. Now for task number one you have to defeat six Magia and they can be found in all Spec Up 31 missions. So yeah, this task is extremely easy and straightforward. You'll find them in basically all the first fights. You may have to do two encounters because there will be about three each. So what I'm going to do for you is fight three and then we'll fast forward just a little bit. I do recommend you bring in a little bit better scoring pair than these two. I have a bad habit of bringing in heroes that need XP and not really getting that great team up score. For some of the best results you can use Anti-Venom and Hybrid or Spitfire and Union Jack. Now I don't know how many of you have yet to start the spec up, but it's pretty cool I have to admit. The group boss is Kingpin and he's not too difficult. So that basically means we're going to get a lot of silver. You're also going to see him in this video because you get him as one of the very first few tasks. That means they don't keep you waiting around which is also nice of them. As far as Kingpin though, I am probably going to make a video on him just focusing on the group boss. In that one we'll fight a few and I'll give you some team up strategies for all of the classes. Anyways though, there's task number one done and we get 1200 XP. For number two, you have to use Punisher in one battle. He's going to be a team up in mission one, but if you have him unlocked you can use him in any mission. You could even go to the Villain Archive and that should count. Because of that this is a very easy task number 2 for anyone who has Punisher. Otherwise I believe the team up is against Hammerhead. Once again he's a mini boss in Mission 1. Another thing I've noticed about him when using him in the simulator is he's actually quite good. So I need to make a PvP video on him but that is going to be a little ways off. There's a lot of other things I have to do first. Completing this Spec Ops is only added to that list. Also, I do like suggestions, so if you have anything in mind, let me know. I do listen and I try to get to them when I can. But now, task number 2 is complete, we get another 1200 XP, and on to number 3. This time we have to defeat Beetle. She is a mini boss in Spec Op 31 Mission 1. So simply fight until you see her pop up, and then you can take in whoever you want. I believe this battle is one of those team ups where you can switch out. And the other good news is it's only a single wave. So we'll begin with the Smothering Shadow, then use the Oni Breaker. And this is my basic Agent PvE setup for now. It does pretty well but blasters can take him down. Next up, following this Tommy Gun, we're going to use our Stepping Disc on the top Hitman. Then let's take a look at some of this new villain's attacks. Okay, well A-Bomb's going to protect, and that will cause a counter. That means that we now have the enemy flanked, so that should come in very handy. Okay, she did a team buff or something like that called the Playbook, and once again attacks our A-Bomb. I do think this boss looks pretty awesome in game, and it's cool that they had the female version. The beetle that I remember from comic books that I collected when I was younger was definitely a man and I even had an action figure of him. But it's cool how there's been different versions. After we totally dismantled that bottom hitman, there's only the boss remaining. And we'll use our soul flare. This also gets us a death gaze, plus a follow up attack. And our agent's going to join in, so that's the end of this fight. That's also going to bring us to the end of task number three. I don't think we're getting a ton of XP from this, so like I said, you should go for the score bonus instead. But as a reward, we do get 15,000 silver, and we can move on to number 4. Purple Rain 4 of 25. Defeat Boomerang. He's the end boss of Spec Op 31 Mission 1. Alright, so before we befriend him, we apparently have to fight him. We're also going to be taking on the mini boss Hammerhead though the beetle's already knocked out. For this battle we are going to speed it up a bit and that's in an effort to keep these taskless videos around 10 minutes. Also while we fight we are getting a first look at Jessica Jones 
And although I've heard some complaints about the sprite, I do think she's going to be a solid character. Another very good character we had recently was Elsa Bloodstone. And I know I told a few of you that we'd have her video today, but because of Spec Ops, and the fact that there's a holiday coming, it starts tomorrow, but we're going to have our first dinner tonight, and that's at my uncle's house. But anyways, because of that, I'm going to have to push the video back just a few days. And I'm really sorry about that. But I will have it this week. She literally just got done training to level 10, so she's only going to be stronger the higher level she is. That video is coming though, and we'll take a couple looks at her for sure. The very next video is probably going to be a Kingpin group boss video. And then of course, Spec Op Task List Part 2. I'm going to do my best to keep up with everything, even though it is a holiday weekend. I'll be honest with you, I had a feeling they'd release Spec Op, but I was hoping that they'd wait. It was pretty much guaranteed that they were going to release it before Thanksgiving though. What makes it even a little bit harder is it's the end of the semester. So at the university, all the end projects are due and finals are coming. But hey, most of us have to juggle multiple things. And I usually work pretty well under pressure. So as always, I'm doing my best and we'll get to everything eventually. As for Boomerang, his life has come to an end. At least his life of crime. Next, he'll be working for us. With that, we get 1200 XP. We get to move on to task number 5. The group boss task. And we're going to get a spin on the boss roulette. First, we can win the Ablative and Powered Ice Await. Takes half damage from gun attacks. Next, there's the Boomerang Launcher. A single target attack that causes bleeding and poisoned. And it's going to grant your agent an always active buff, Master Marksman. So that actually seems pretty good. Unfortunately, we win a reactive bulky. Alright, fantastic. Now on to task number 5, complete one battle against Kingpin. The reward isn't going to show up exactly right, but it says disassembled weapon parts. And of course you'll get some lockboxes. For our first encounter, I took in Havoc and Deadpool. This is not my recommended team, but I don't want to do a ton of damage to the group boss. i rather leave him for my allies. So we'll just do a fair amount, and of course I'm going to speed this fight up as well. But then I'll have a group boss video all by itself. Right now I try to give you a pretty good look at what this group boss can do. And then we're just going to try to do some damage. I will tell you that obviously Fixer's going to be great. He always seems to be the key. But in actuality this group boss just isn't that tough. I think they're trying to be nice to us. And just let us have some silver. The only issue is going to be like always. How many group bosses are you going to get? And that's going to depend on your allies. For my first wave last night, I think I got about 10. But zero showed up this afternoon. Not a great sign. And also, if the group boss is easier to defeat, you're going to see less of them. So, it's not without its flaws, but you can't blame PD for trying to help. You have to blame your allies for taking down their own boss. Come on people, take it easy on your kingpin. Share the wealth. By the end of the spec op, there will be so many group bosses that I won't even fight them all. That's the general trend. Feel free to collect your silver then, but wait until we unlock Boomerang. And that's all I'm going to say about that. For this current group boss battle, we do have about 2 minutes left, or 2 minutes left in the video. At least I'm going to try to keep it that brief. And in that time, I don't really want to spoil any of my teams. Those are going to be saved for the group boss video next. But, like we know, Fixer is going to work well. And then as far as my agent setup, I haven't even changed it against any of them. And still have had great success. First of all, being a protector, and if you put on the Hugen's eye, you're going to avoid a lot of unarmed attacks. I just went ahead and let him hit me because he doesn't hit very hard. But with him and his minions, you're going to build up a lot of escutcheon. In fact, in the battles where there's a scrapper or the minions are scrappers, my agent ends up hitting extremely hard. Two stacks of enraged and ten times escutcheon. That equals like 50k hits plus every time. Then it's kind of sad, but Havoc doesn't pack the punch he used to. 
And with Deadpool, we're not even going to get his final hit. So we're only going to do a little over 35% damage, I would say. Which is fine. That should leave plenty for my allies. I believe this should be Kingpin's final attack. And after he takes bleed damage, we do counter. So we'll just take out this final minion, and then that's going to be the end of task number 5. As for silver, we do get right around 123,000. And that's a nice little pickup. After that, Kingpin's going to have some dialogue. Then we'll move on to our first research. You're going to get the disassembled weapon parts that you need for this research. And a blueprint for the pheromone inhibitor. So for task 6 of 25, research the pheromone inhibitors in the lab. By the way, you should also have about 11 lockboxes. This research is going to take 8 hours, 40 unstable ISO 8, and 100 silver. So we'll get that started and we'll work on some future videos. But for now, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck and take care.